welcome back to another episode on my channel. It's Thursday night on a Champions League week. On a Champions League, Europa League and Europa Conference League week. And in today, and obviously, that me and obviously, as it's Champions League week, now it's time for the PMEA League predictions for the new game week. In the Premier League, which includes a game between Man City and Tottenham. It is game week 14 of the Premier League. And I'm going to be giving you my predictions for every game this weekend. Right now. Starting with Saturday's 3 o'clock kickoffs. The first one we're going to go through is Arsenal versus Wolves. Arsenal coming are gonna come into paid on Wednesday night as they beat and beat Lons from France from Liga. Six goals to nil with five goals in the first 45. Which is the first time Arsenal have scored five goals in a Champions League home game. Um but yeah, so Arsenal are coming into this game at the Emirates against Wolves on the back of a 3-0, on the back of a 6-0 win against Lons in Europe. And Wolves had, a, on the weekend, are coming into this game after a 3-2 defeat to Fulham, which, according, which was a disgrace, which has some disgraceful decisions, according to Gary O'Neill. Arsenal are str really strong at home. Really, really strong at home. And they're top of the table now after City drew with Liverpool. So they want to. So if Arsenal do end up beating, so if Arsenal do, if Arsenal, so if Arsenal do end up beating, if Arsenal do. If Arsenal do, if Arsenal do end up. Were beating Wolves, they'll go four points clear of Man City ahead of our game against Tottenham. So Arsenal will want to pick up a win because of that fact. Because of that, Arsenal will want to pick up a win. They'll want to go four points clear of us, and I think they will. With a they'll win by two goals to one. Goal scorers at at the very end. Next up is we're going. Next up at three o'clock is a game at the Brentford Community Stadium. As Brentford host Luton Town, who picked up their first win at home at Kenilworth Road in the Premier League after they beat Aston Villa, after they beat Crystal Palace by two goals, two one. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be really interesting. You know, it's going to be really interesting. Brentford, Luton. Um, I'm going to back Brentford being the home team. But I'm going to back them to... But I'm going to back them to just edge past Luton by a goal to nil. Goal scorer at the very end. Uh, Burnley, Chef United, I think I'm going to go... Burnley win being, I think they will get their first win at home. Burnley with a 2 1 win over Sheffield United. Uh, Forest Everton, I'm going to back Forest again. It's too strong at home, and I'm going to say they win 2 0. Newcastle, Man United. Man United let a 2 0, let, let a 3 1 lead slip against Gatter, so I to draw 3 0, which means United are one game, one defeat in the Champions League away. Actually, one defeat or one draw against Bayern Munich in the Champions League away from being relegated, from being uh, ex uh, disqualified or eliminated. If United do not pick up a win, if you know, ask, the only way United get out of their Champions League group after that three or draw with Galatasaray is if they beat Bayern and neither and. Galatasaray and Copenhagen ends a draw. If Galatasaray and Copenhagen ends a draw and Man United somehow beat Bayern, then Man United will go through. But if Man United do not win, 
against Bayern, if they draw or lose against Bayern, or if they win, but Galatasaray or Copenhagen win the game between those, between them, then Man United are out. So Man United will have a big, 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 big Champions League week in match day six. But enough, but they're coming into this Premier League, this game with a win in the Premier League, though. They did get a win in the Premier League the weekend prior to drawing three or Galatasaray, so as they picked up a very good 3 0 win at home away to Everton, which was Everton's first game since the takeover. But Newcastle, unlucky, were one and up against PSG for such a long time, but ended up getting a last minute, an unfair last minute penalty, which and the game ended a one hole draw, which means just like with United, Newcastle's Champions League fate hangs in the balance. Newcastle, however, said, are, 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 this is their game. Obviously, in their last Premier League game, they won four one against Chelsea. Not gonna be not gonna be four one again, but it will uh, against it won't be four one against Man United, but it will be three one against Man United. Next up, Bournemouth vita- at the vit- is without the vitality for the first game on Sunday, as Bournemouth host Aston Villa. And I'm gonna get straight to the point. Villa are gonna win four one. Uh, next up, Chelsea Brighton. I feel like I should. I feel like I'm. I feel like Chelsea aren't gonna win. Beat Brighton, especially after losing four one to Chelsea, four one to Newcastle. So I'm gonna predict a one all draw between Chelsea and Brighton. And then as for Liverpool, as for Liverpool, Fulham, I had to back Liverpool at their at home three 0 They just picked up. They just lich. Oh, Brighton beat. Uh, beat AEK Athens in the in the Europa League today. Speaking of Europa League, Liverpool. Picked up a 4 0 win at home to Toulouse. No, to. Uh, to Lask. Liverpool literally just ended. Literally, the game between Liverpool and Lask in the Europa League literally just finished a few minutes ago and Liverpool won 4 0. So they're coming into this game against Fulham on the back of a 4 0 win and a 1 0 draw on the weekend against Man City. 3 0 Liverpool. West Ham, Crystal Palace. I'm going to go a West Ham win. I'm going to go 3. I'm going to go 2 0 to West Ham. And finally, finally, final game on Saturday, final game of the weekend is. Tottenham versus Manchester City. Manchester City place host Tottenham. Tottenham are coming into this game against my team, Man City, off the on the back of three straight Premier League defeats to Wolves, sorry, to Chelsea, Wolves, and Aston Villa. If Tottenham lose to Man City on the weekend, Tottenham will go. After being top of the league, Tottenham would have gone. After being top of the league and doing so well, they would have gone f- four games without victory. They would have lost. All, they would have lost their. If if Tottenham lose to Man to my team, Man City, they will lose four Premier League games on the trot, which is incredible, especially given how well they started under and Postecoglou and Tottenham defensively without Van der Ven. And without Romero, who's suspended. Without Van der Ven, who's injured. And without Romero, who's suspended. I think City won Riot. I'm going to say... I'm going to say 5-1. Man City. I'm going to say Man City 5. Tottenham 1. We obviously struggled against Leipzig. We went 2 no down. Obviously, City struggled in the Champions League. We went 2 no down. But in the second half, we brought it back. We went 2 no down against Leipzig in the Champions League. So we struggled. We did struggle in the Champions League. We went 2 went no down to Leipzig through two Lewis Apenna goals. But then we... Came from two goals down in the second half to win three two. So a five a goal a five goal a goal fest between City and Leipzig. Five goals. There'll be a goal fest between Man City Tottenham. But unlike Leipzig City, where it was pretty even, it, it's going to be one sided. Man City five Tottenham one. Next up, we're going to go through the goal scores, and then I'm going to give you some, and then there will be some more predictions because there are. Games in midweek as well. There are probably games in midweek. Match week, m- match day fifteen is in midweek, so I might as well predict. I might as well combine my game week fourteen predictions and my game week fifteen predictions into one single video. But before we do get onto those predictions for midweek, the midweek games after the week, the midweek games that take place after the weekend games, we're going to go through my goal scores. Arsenal Wolves. 
uh, the score. I'm going to go for each score again, each prediction again, and I'm going to give you my goal scoring, my predict the prediction. I'm and then I'm going to give you a prediction for who I think will score. Arsenal Wolves two on Arsenal. Saka will score both goals for Arsenal, while Huang Hee Chan will score for Wolves. Brentford Luton one on Brentford. The goal will be scored by Brian and Bremo. Burnley Sheffield United two one. Sheffield United will score through Cameron Archer, with Burnley scoring through, from through and Dooney and Sander Burge. Uh, Forest Everton 2 0. Ever Forest, both goals from Tyra Awanyi. Newcastle Man United 3 1. Newcastle, goals for Newcastle from Alexander Izak, who scored in midweek against PSG. Anthony Gordon, who's on a very good run of form, and Joel Linton. And then for Man United, it'll be Bruno Fernandes. Uh, Bournemouth Villa 4 1. Villa. Goals for Villa from Watkins with a brace and Diaby with also with a brace. And then for Bournemouth, it will be Tavernier. Chelsea, Brighton, 1-0 one one draw. Chelsea will score through Raheem Sterling. Brighton will score through João Pedro. Liverpool, Fulham, 3-0 Liverpool. Goals from Salah, Gakpo and Nunez. West Ham Palace, 2-0 West Ham. Goals from Antonio and Suchek. And then Man City, Tottenham, 5-1 Man City. Tottenham will score through Hsin Min Son. Score. City will Tottenham will score for through Hyun Min So Hyun Min Son. And City scoring five will score through Haaland with a hat trick. Julian Alvarez and the man of the moment, the player of the month nominee, Jeremy Doku. So yeah, that's my predictions for the weekend's games. Now it's time to give you my predictions for the midweek Premier League games. This was my, I've just given you my predictions, scores and goal scorers for game week fourteen. We're also and we're going to end this video and we're going to go through the and we're now going to go through the round the game week fifteen Premier League games, which includes a game between Man City and Aston Villa at Villa Park. These are so these. Games, these midweek games are on Tuesday and Wednesday, and the game week 15 fixtures are on Tuesday and Wednesday, and they are live and they are all live on Prime on Amazon Prime video. They're live every game in midweek, every game on Tuesday and when every Premier League game, every game, every Premier League game week 15 game will be live on Prime video. So let's go through each game and give you my predictions. The first game. On Tuesday, the first game of the week on Tuesday is Wolves Burnley. Wolves, I predicted, would lose to Arsenal. Well, I predicted Burnley would beat Sheffield United. I'm going to say Wolves will beat Burnley 2 1. Goals for Wolves from Hwanging Chan and uh, Mateus Cunha. And then for Burnley, I'm Dooney. Luton Town Arsenal 3 1 Arsenal. Goals for Arsenal from Jesus, Saka, and Martinelli. And then for Luton, it'll be uh, Carlton Morris. And those are the only two games on Tuesday. Now, Wednesday, we have Brighton-Brentford. I'm going to say two-all draw. Goals for Brighton from Matoma and Jao Pedro. And then for Brentford, Brighton and Bremo and Jürgen Wister. Man United, Fulham Forest, I'm going to say a 2-1 away win for Nottingham Forest. Goals for Tot Nottingham Forest from Morgan Gibbs-White and Taro Aronyi. And then for Fulham, it will be Carlos Vinicius. Chef Knight, Liverpool. 4-1 Liverpool. Goals for Liverpool from Gapo, Nunez, Salah and Jot, uh, Salah and Diaz, and then for Sheffield United it will be Sand, uh, and then for Sheffield United it will be Cameron Archer. Palace, Bournemouth is going to be a two-one home win for Crystal Palace. Goals for Crystal Palace from Eze and Elise, and then for Bournemouth it will be Marcus Tavernier. Aston Villa versus Man City. I'm going to back my team. I'm going to back City to win two. One away from home. Goals for City from Erling Haaland and Phil Foden. And then for Aston Villa, it will be Oli Watkins. Man United, Chelsea. I'm going to back Chelsea to win 3-1 against Man United. Goals for Chelsea from Cole Palmer, Raheem Sterling and uh, Enzo Fernandes. And then for Man United, Marcus Rashford. Everton, Newcastle. I'm going to say 2-1 Newcastle. Goals for Newcastle from Alexander Isak and... Anthony Gordon and for Everton and then and Anthony Gordon against his former club and then for Everton Dominic Calvert Lewin and the final game in midweek and the final game on Thursday is Tottenham West Ham of and I'm going to predict for Tottenham West Ham a two nil win for Tottenham. 
I think they'll bounce back after four straight defeats to win 2-0 against West Ham with goals from Son and Richarlison. So we're going to go through my predictions one more time. Starting with round, starting with game week 14. Arsenal Wolves, 2-1 Arsenal. Brentford, Pal Luton, 1-0 Brentford. Burnley, Sheffield United, 2-1 Burnley. Forest, Everton, 2-0 Everton. Forest, Newcastle, Man United, 3-1 Newcastle. Bournemouth, Villa, 4-1 Villa. Chelsea, Brighton, 1-0. Liverpool, Fulham, 3-0 Liverpool. West Ham, Palace, 2-0 West Ham. Man City, Tottenham, 5-1 Man City. And then game week 15, my game week 15 predictions. Wolves, Burnley, 2-1 Wolves. Luton, Arsenal, 3-1 Arsenal. Brighton, Brentford, 2-0. Fulham, Forest, Forest, 2-1. Sheffield United, Liverpool, 4-1 Liverpool. Palace, Bournemouth, 2-1 Palace. Villa City, 2-1 City. Actually, let's make it... Th I'm going to say... Th actually, I'm going to change that to 3-1 City. And the third goal... The goals... And then the third goal... The third City goal will be scored by... June Alvarez. So, hot City, Villa, 3-1 City. Villa will score through Watkins. And City will score through Foden, Haaland and Alvarez. Who all scored against Leipzig in midweek. Uh, Man United, Chelsea, 3-1 Man United, 3-1 Chelsea. Everton, Newcastle, 2-1 Newcastle. And, finally... Tottenham 2, West Ham 0. Those are my Game Week 14 and Game Week 15. Those are my Game Week 14 predictions for the weekend and my Game Week 15 predictions for midweek. So my Game Week 14 and my Game Week 15 Premier League predictions in the same video. We have, that is, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 games in the space of 6 days, 10, 20 games in the space, 20 Premier League games in the space of 6 days as Game Week 14 and Game Week 15 take place so that's it for this video hopefully you've enjoyed the double predictions for the weekend games game week 14 and the midweek games game week 15 hopefully you've enjoyed subscribe to the channel okay i'm about to catch you on one of the videos a much longer video because of because of the fact because of the fact that i'm doing two game weeks in terms of predictions with games on the weekend and games in midweek game week 14 on the weekend game week 15 in midweek so hopefully you've enjoyed like I said, subscribe to the channel. I think it's a bit of a video. Hope you've enjoyed this much longer video with two weeks of Premier, with two game weeks of Premier League, with two predict game weeks of Premier League predictions until until the games the following weekend, which includes Man City Luton. Well, until until the predictions next the following weekend, which in, which includes Man City Luton. I'm out. Subscribe to the channel. Like I said, one more time. Subscribe to the channel. Click on the video. I'll see you the following weekend. Not this weekend, but the following weekend for my Game Week 16 Premier League predictions, which includes Man City versus Luton. But until then, I'm out. Peace. Bye. Have a nice evening. And I'll see you all next Wednesday. The Premier League predictions. When, uh, when there's Champions League, Europa League and... When the Champions League, Europa League and Conference League, Premier League predictions will be on the Thursday evening. When there's not European games, predictions will be on the Wednesday. So, European games, predict Premier League predictions Thursday. No European games, Premier League predictions Wednesday. So, just keep that in mind. But until until my game week 16 Premier League predictions, which include Man City, Lou, and I'm out. Peace. Bye.